Welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers, from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother, Flowers, Part 3, from Sri Aurobindo. As regards what you say retrospectively about the giving of flowers, there were two mistakes. The one you have yourself seen, you should accept what the mother sees to be best and most helpful, not judging by your own standard, as it is she alone who has the right knowledge about those things. Two, never base yourself or your idea of the mother and her actions on what others say as when they told you you had wrong flowers. How can they judge or know? Their utterances may be the result of very wrong judgments and their statements may be misstatements. Now that you have seen the right thing, go by the way I have indicated to you, the way of confidence and true self-giving. May 1932. Flowers indicate a blossoming in the consciousness, sometimes with special reference to the psychic or the psychicized vital, mental, and physical consciousness. The vision of flowers is a symbol usually of psychic qualities or movements, whether a potentiality or promise or an actual state of development. It is usually when the psychic is active that this seeing of flowers becomes abundant. The flowers indicate always an opening, usually psychic, in some part of the consciousness. The flowers are the symbols of psychic movements. The sun is the divine consciousness. It is the awakening of the psychic consciousness and its activity under the divine influence. Red flowers would ordinarily indicate an opening of the consciousness either in the physical or some part of the vital according to the shade. In a vision the correspondent saw a luminous sun sending forth a multitude of flowers. The opening of the lotuses means, I suppose, the opening of the true vital and physical consciousness in which the spiritual being, the swan, can manifest with all the consequences of that opening. The lotus must represent, owing to its numerous petals, the thousand-petaled lotus above the head, which is the seat of the higher consciousness, above the thinking intelligence. The vision may mean the opening of the consciousness there, and in it, the adoration of the divine. A lotus usually indicates an opening into the spiritual. The white and red symbols of the Mother and the incarnating Divine. The white lotus is the symbol of the Mother's consciousness. It does not indicate any part of the individual consciousness. The red lotus is the flower of the Divine Presence. The red lotus is the presence of the divine on earth. The sun is the divine truth. It indicates the divine manifestation on earth, raising earth consciousness towards the truth. The red lotus signifies the presence of the divine on earth. It, the blue lotus, can be taken as the avatar incarnation on the mental plane. 